Here, I will explain how to install Matrix Setu BP248 as an IP extension of Eternity NE. Before connecting the IP phone to Eternity NE, carry out the following steps. First, unpack the Setu BP248. And note down the MAC address given at the bottom. Then, using the configuration web server Jeeves, program the following parameters. First, log on to Jeeves. Under basic settings, configure the SIP extension number and name on the extension numbering plan page. Submit the page. Now go to the SIP extension page, enable the SIP extension, configure the authentication ID and authentication password. Now, in Matrix Extended IP Phone settings, enable the Matrix Extended IP Phone mode, location 1, and enter the MAC address of Setu VP248. Submit the page. Refer the system manual for detailed instructions. Now, let's assemble Setu to go ahead. This method is common across all the models of Setu VP248. However, here, for the purpose of illustration, I'm using the premium model Setu VP248P. You can mount the phone on the desk or on the wall. While mounting it on the wall, do not forget to overturn this headset hook in the reverse direction. When you mount Setu VP248P on a desk, you can attach the foot stand in three different ways. So, you get different angles for ease of operation. To connect the handset to the phone, plug the short straightened end of the spring cord into the handset phone line jack. And then connect the long straightened end of the spring cord into the phone. You can plug any standard stereo headset with 2.5mm single connector into the headset jack of the phone. To use a headset with RJ9 connector, insert the RJ9 connector into the headset port at the bottom of the phone. Connect the Ethernet cable coming from the LAN switch or hub to the LAN port of Setu VP248P. To connect your phone to a computer on your desk, connect the Ethernet cable to the PC port of the phone and connect the other end of the cable to the computer. Plug the connector of the power adapter into the power jack. Then switch on the power supply. Setu models VP248PE and VP248SE support power over Ethernet. If you want to use power over Ethernet, make sure your LAN supports it. Supply power through 802.3AF connection on the phone's LAN port. In that case, make sure do not connect the power adapter. When you power on the phone, the boot sequence is initiated in the following sequence. All DSS keys and speaker keys of the phone glow simultaneously. The LCD display lights up and this message will appear on it as the phone boots. As soon as the loading message appears, press hash key. Select the firmware extended SIP. Press the enter key. The phone will start loading the extended SIP firmware. After loading the firmware, the phone will prompt you to change network settings. Now select Yes. Then select the connection type. For DHCP and PPPoE connection types, the IP parameters of Setu will be automatically configured. Eternity Any can also work as a DHCP server if Setu is installed in its same network. In this case, the DHCP server settings have to be configured in Eternity Any. Here, on selecting DHCP connection type in Setu, Eternity Any will automatically configure the IP parameters of Setu. If you choose the static connection type, then configure IP address, subnet mask, gateway address and DNS parameters. Then configure the server address by entering IP address of Eternity Any. Then press the back navigation key. New network settings will be applied. Then 
SETU VP248P will try to fetch configuration files from Eternity Any. After download of all configuration files, the phone will display current day, date and time in the first line. Extension number and name assigned to the IP extension appears in the second line. There we are. We have successfully connected SETU VP248 as IP extension of Eternity Any.